Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about text input and output. Okay, so up to now, we write some many programs. For all the programs, we are going to give the input. After processing, it returns some output. But we don't save this input and output in any place. Okay, now, in today class, we are going to learn about introduction to files. So what is a file? So what is a file? A file is a collection of data. So that is stored on secondary storage device. A file is an external collection of related data. So treated as a unit. Okay. So what it means? The file is a collection of related data. The data is stored on some secondary storage device. A file is a collection of data stored on secondary storage device what is secondary storage device here there are two types of storages one is primary memory and another one is secondary memory so this secondary memory we are called as a auxiliary memory also okay so primary memory is nothing but ram up to now we write many programs so for example a equals to 5 i define now this is the data value stored in this ram only a equals to 5 in the memory okay but coming to what is the secondary memory secondary memory is nothing but files stored on hard disk or so pen drives cds dvds okay if you store this data on this hard disk or pen drive or cd or dvd so then we call this as a file. To store this data, we need a file. Okay, what is a file? A file is a collection of data. It's a collection of data. So normally collection of data is nothing but, so for example, there is a student name, student number, student address. Okay. So like this, we have 100 records. 100 records. Now, the whole data we are going to store in a file that is stored in secondary storage device okay i hope you all are understand what is a file so file is a collection of data that is stored on secondary device okay that means that data is stored permanently okay so now so what is buffer what is buffer so now i want to retrieve the data from hard disk so for example so this is the file so this is the file so this file contains thousand lines this file contains, let us assume, contains 1000 lines. Now, our program want to retrieve the data from this file. Now, there is a memory. This memory we are called as a buffer. It takes some of the data and places into this buffer. For example, first 100 lines. First 100 lines. So, this we are called as a buffer. So from this buffer, you are going to use the data and store the data in primary memory. Primary memory. You take this data and place here. Okay. What is a buffer? A buffer is a temporary storage area. A buffer is a temporary storage area that holds the data. So while they are being transferred to or from memory. Okay. So next, end of file. End of file. So here, we are trying to read the data from this file. Now, how we can identify the end of the file? The operating system automatically identify the end of the file. The end of the file in an auxiliary device. The file is stored in the auxiliary device. That means the hard disk is detected automatically by the device and the pass it to the program. If you write a program to read the data, yes. For example, this is the R. It retrieves the data R. Next A, next V, next number 1, 2, 3, 4, next A Luru. So after that, there is no data. Automatically, the device identifies that and pass it to the program. That we reach the end of the file. So now, it is the programmer's job to test for end of the file. It returns the end of the file to the program. Now, as a programmer, you can identify that every time you are going to read the data, you identify that you reach the end of the file or not. Okay. So now, 
file name so when you are uh, creating any file by using c programming you are going to follow the so rules of the operating system so file name for example the file name must be start with character or underscore or underscore so for example this is the rule for the operating system now when you are creating any file with the help of c programming you are going to follow these rules so file name when we want to read or write read or write auxiliary storage files we must use the operating system rules when we name the files okay when we retrieve the data or store the data that means that read the data from the file or write the data to the file in both the cases you are going to follow the rules of operating system to give the names to the file so file information table to read or write files need several pieces of information several pieces of information for example this is the file so abc.txt this contain these three values now when you try to read or write files we need several pieces of information such as operating system name for a file what is the name of that file for example i want to read this data means i want to know the file name the file name is abc.txt the position of the current character in the file and so on okay so c has a predefined file structure to hold this information c has a predefined file structure and the stdo.h standard input output header file defines the file structure so defines the file structure its identifier is file it is more important its identifier is file so how i can declare a integer variable int a equals to 5 similarly how i can define a pointer int asterisk of ptr and similarly if i want to declare a file pointer then i am going to use the data type so file file asterisk fp now the fp is file pointer here a is integer here asterisk ptr is a integer point i hope everyone understand what is a file a file is a, a collection of data that is stored on secondary storage device what is a buffer a buffer is a temporary memory that we are going to use to read and write the data to file and end of file the device automatically identifies the end of the file and pass it to a program and programmer can identify that and handle the program so file names so when you read or write the data by using the c program you are going to give the names to file name so based on the operating system rules so file information table so file information table contains the file name the position of the current character in the file and so on now in c there is predefined file structures are there so these file structures are included in stdo.h and its identifier is file okay i hope you all are understand what is a file